So let's begin. Uh, we'll start from the project creation configuration, right? When I say project creation, take example, you are uh, going in one, you come into one team and we are, uh, assume they are working on one project called, uh, they are building one e-commerce website. That's the project which you are talking. I'm just taking one example of this project. And from scratch, what you need to do, you need to first build this project in the ADO, then from there, uh, start onboarding the team members, right? So from there, we are starting. So first time when you log in the ADO, now I'm sharing the ADO screen, you will be having this uh, platform over there where, where you won't be able to find any project which you're seeing over here, like AG Bank, Papa Sky. If that organization is already having some other teams where they have created some other project, then you can see those project list over there, right? But what we are doing, assume you're not having any project at all and you're starting from the scratch, right? So this is the link where your organization is going to provide you for uh, first time when you're uh, onboarding on the ADA board. So you can see in the right hand side, you have option called new project, right? So hit on this new project. From there, we are going to start the new project, right? And first thing is that I need to give the meaningful name of the project. So this name usually comes from your PO. What is this project about? Take an example, we are building one project called PSKY e-commerce website. So I'm giving the project name and under the description, uh, mainly this discussion talk about what is the vision of this project, what is the goal of this project and what we are going to do as part of this project. Uh, so description, Overview either you can take from the SOW document which your organization is preparing or your project managers can give you. So for example, for this e-commerce website, I have a, this uh, e-commerce field where I need to build the navigation screen and the payment page, customer support page. That's a high level scope for this project. So I'll just copy this scope for this project. Okay. Once you put the description, uh, you can see the two options. One is a visibility, right? Uh, one is private and public. What is mean by that? So take an example. If you do not want to give this permission to other team members or other project or organization, right? So what you can do, you can make this project private and then you onboard only your team members. So that, that's a catch over there, right? A lot of people do struggle and reach to me that they say is, uh, I'm not able to see that team project, right? The reason behind that, while the time they have created the project, they have put the setting private. So under this private project, whoever the team member they are adding that people can only see the project, right? But usually uh, if you are within an organization, you need to make the visibility public. So once you make the visibility public means the project or the team, which you are creating, it is visible to the throughout all the organization who can see the project, right? Or usually it has to be like that because maybe multiple teams are uh, interdependent to each other, right? That's the one reason. And other also want to see how you guys are doing. So make it always public for this uh, demo purpose. I'm just making the private. And you can see on the advanced section, this is very important section, right? So if you click on the advanced section, you will be having the work item, right? So uh, for you, it will be multiple templates. So this is a template which we need to select, right? For take an example, I have a basic template, then I have a scrum template. Some organization will be having the Kanban also. So uh, if you are setting up the team, you need to select the template from here. So we are doing for a scrum project. So I'll select the template as a scrum and I'll hit on the create option. Okay. It says project description as mentioned. Yeah, looks like. Okay, let's say I have put the project overview which I was talking. Uh, make sure that you're not putting any special character, which is which it is not taking. Yeah, no, it's a lot. Okay, so that's a very first step, very basic step. So what will happen once you create this project? This is the skeleton. It is only having the skeleton. It is not having anything. From here, we are going to, this is your canvas. We are going to start and put everything and anything within uh, this project, right? So what will happen? You will be having this team name called uh, PSK Commerce Websites. Similarly, how you, you see the team name, right? Uh, in the idea. So how does it come? Just now I showed you, right? Where you put the project team name, right? So once you create first time, you won't be having any team members over here. You won't be having any uh, dashboard or backlog. Nothing is there, right? 
So what we'll do first thing, once you onboard the team, immediate thing which I need to do that is I need to onboard the team member first, right? Who will be the team member? When I say the team member, your cross-functional team, your front-end developer, back-end developer, UI UX developer, then the automation tester, manual tester, or uh, leads or the whoever people who are the stakeholder for this project. I want to onboard those people on this uh, board, right? So there is a two way you can do it. One way is that first thing, uh, assume uh, these people are not having the access on the ADO in the Azure DevOps, right? Which a lot of Scrum Master struggle. I am trying to find that people in the ADO but I'm not able to find their mail right? That The reason behind that, maybe these people just join the organization now or uh, they are not having the access for ADO. So for that case, you should be having the ADO admin access, right? Or if you assume uh, the path A, you are having the ADO admin access, then you can invite those people directly from here. You're seeing the invite button. What you need to do, you just need to select those people. Take an example, I'm adding some people you put their email id okay this is how you can add the people let me add more people Okay, so I am onboarding these people. So what you are doing, if you are having the ADO admin access, then only this button will be enabled for you. This is the catch and the tips I want to share with you. If you are not having the ADO admin access, this button won't be enabled for you. Then in that case, what you need to do that, you need to reach to the ADO admin, ask that this is a new developer or tester who has onboarded within my team. Can you add him in the ADO board? And click on add it, add right. Once you add, it will show Two team members have assigned a label to access, right? Fail to add user and one team assigned to access label to user, right? So one team member I think is not having the valid mail ID. So this is, if you're getting this error, what you need to do, second important aspect, which uh, usually the project manager or scrum master having the access, the project setting path, right? So you can see the project setting path over here in the left hand panel, very down, click on that. Then here you can select on the, click on the teams. This is the team which you are having just now, right? PSK e-commerce website team. And from here, what you need to do, this is the access which usually the Scrum Master has. You can invite the new team member over here. It's taking the Gmail IDs, you can, you'll be having the valid uh, IDs from this thing, right? So you can see, uh, once I'm putting this team member, what it is showing, it is showing me the error, right? And it is not giving me the name. So the reason behind that, because these people are not having the access on the AD. Otherwise, what happened whenever you select the team member name over here, their name will be showing over there, right? So if this issue occurs, what you need to do that, you need to reach your ADO admin and ask them, can you add this team member in the ADO? general setting, right? Once they add those team member over here, automatically you will be able to see those team members over here. I'll give you the example of one project. Yes, you can see teams, right? So I can, I'm able to find those team member over here and I can add those team members. The reason behind that I have onboarded those team member over in the ADO. Once they are in the ADO, you can add those team member over here. So that's the one thing.